Okay, so it's a beautiful day here in Houston. Uh, it's just one of those rare opportunities we've got. So we have both boats out today and for obvious reasons. Obviously one's a Ranger, one's a Bass Cat, but when this pulled into the shop, I thought I was seeing double for a minute. Uh, in fact, I was working on my special project and I stopped what I did, was doing to uh, come and take a look at this boat. This boat belongs to a young lady who is going to be using it for high school fishing tournaments, I believe is the correct way to put it. But that's what this young lady is going to be doing. What's kind of interesting is one of the people that brought the boat, boat over, I've known him for a number of years. I haven't seen him for a while, but I've known him for a number of years, so it was kind of neat to catch up. But enough of that. Let me tell you what Michael's been doing. And Michael has been working very, very hard and on a lot of different things. And that's just part of being in business for yourself. So we have a new Helix, Hummingbird Helix 12, I believe is what it is. So new graph up here, new trolling motor, new 360 and new imaging thingamabob. Live sonar. Live sonar. You think by now I would know these things. So uh, basically it's been working on this boat, I guess for about two or three days to some degree. Uh, did we rewire this or no? So the wires were already here and we just did all the connections. We, we left the cable long and we routed it around. We can always shorten the cable up, but we can't lengthen it or we can, but it's a real pain to lengthen it. So we snuck it around here and plugged it in here. Uh, obviously we can go back and change that if that doesn't work out, etc. Uh, Michael did a great job as usual with the wiring and the route and the wires, that kind of stuff. I really like these new cable ties to hold this stuff in place. That's a really, really nice thing that he's doing now. Uh, wasn't that good. It was good before, but that kind of takes it to a different level. So very, this worked out real well. This particular one, Michael was telling me, is very happy about it because usually when we do these, it takes two of us and one of us having to hold it here and we're having to deploy it and etc. So on this particular one, there's a diagram in there. And in that diagram, it shows you where to put this and how far to hang it off the front of the mo uh, boat. Motor. <laughs> front of the boat. And I've got to say, that uh, that's pretty impressive because he did this all by himself. So usually when we do this, it takes a couple of people. The other good thing is obviously is there was a lot of access to get to the bolts and those kind of things, which is always a problem on trolling motors. Some trolling motors, it takes two people, one with their arm all the way up to here with the wrench hanging out, etc. So, you know, just kind of keep those things in mind. If you're going to replace your trolling motor, do your homework on it, what it's going to take to get it done. So uh, 100 hour service on the motor, new plugs, new Impala, service the lower end, nothing particularly new there. Uh, that's just standard, pretty much what Michael is doing on a daily basis right now. He's, you know, he's got them racked and stacked as far as uh, trolling, mo not trolling motors, but service on motors, people are getting antsy to get back out on the water. So if you're in the Houston area, Conroe area, Freeport, Lake Jackson area, and you need your boat service, reach out to Michael because he sure could use your business. He's got grandkids. He's got my grandkids to pay for. One of the things I'd like to point out on this boat that really impressed me to some degree, although it kind of goes against what I said uh, last week, is this little dash thing here. It's called a super dash. And uh, it's pretty impressive. Kind of cool looking. So I don't know if it goes out how cool it would be, but I kind of like it right now. So that's kind of key to the overall appearance of this boat. Uh, I think this is going to be a great little boat for the young lady to fish out of, and uh, I think she's going to have a lot of fun with it. Uh, I don't know if we've checked the trailer out or anything. I'm not really sure what we did in that area, but we'll probably check the lights out, and make sure that everything's good. Wanted to get both boats together 
and uh, have them side by side because it's a great, what we call a beauty shot, probably is the thumbprint for this week, etc. cetera. So uh, I wanted to kind of share that with you. I, I would like to go back to the other boat over there and kind of give you an update on that boat if we can. And I'm getting nods that I can, so we're probably gonna shut the camera off here for a second and then we're gonna run over there, take a look at that boat. So the uh, wiring and stuff continues on this boat. Uh, our biggest hold up right now, and it, this is not the powder coat of the guy's fault. Uh, we're waiting for the lids. Uh, he's one of those periods where he's pretty busy right now, so uh, we're out about probably another week before we get them. So it's, you know, it's stressful uh, because we've got a lot of time already invested in this boat. Michael and Hugh both have a tremendous amount of time invested in this boat. But as soon as we get the lids back, and, and we was kind of hoping to have them back for this video, I know I said that last week, but you know how it is nowadays, you've got to rely on your vendors, and this particular vendor is a super great guy. He's been very helpful to Michael over the time that he's been in business. So as soon as we get the lids back, we're going to put them on, and we're going to show you what we did. Uh, and then obviously we're going to be bringing the guy into scan and then that way you'll see how that happens and then you'll see Michael and Hugh do the installation on this boat and, it's, and I think it'll be kind of like a different video of what we're doing and uh, that's kind of the update on this this particular one. Michael has been doing a lot of uh, lower end units and 100 hour services this week uh, since last week quite honestly uh, because uh, people are getting ready to get their boats out on the water uh, so they've been bringing them in for a discount double check. Uh, Hugh, who is back from his fishing tournament, is prepping battery trays. And uh, if you have a lithium battery and you don't have a tray, contact uh, Michael because you need to have a tray and it needs to be bolted down correctly. You all know my feelings about that. So uh, I guess that's kind of it. I wish I'd have showed you the back of the bass cat. I thought it was kind of interesting. Now, twin tanks at the back, which was kind of pretty neat. I don't know if you want to go back over there and look at that or not. No, he doesn't want to go back and look at it. So that's this week's video. Guys, I know we're kind of a little off track. I do apologize. We do apologize for that. But at the end of the day, uh, Michael is in the boat servicing business and installation business. And so with you being gone to his tournament and stuff and a non sort of work, we're not doing our regular content. We do have some content from that, but quite honestly, to, to share that content is just more fiberglassing and sanding, and quite honestly, how many weeks of fiberglassing and sanding do you guys wanna watch? Probably not as much as I'd like to show you, but anyway. So that's kind of what we have going on. If you would like to like, subscribe, and share, uh, we definitely would appreciate that. Michael would definitely appreciate that. Uh, the other thing is, uh, as far as your trolling motor goes too, Michael does make some brackets. This one doesn't have one on it. The boat over there does have one on it. Probably should have brought that up. Uh, Michael makes some really nice brackets. So if you're going to be mounting stuff to the front of your motor, trolling motor and stuff, check out his thing and maybe we'll do a little video on the mounting brackets that he does make. Now, I'm probably going to screw this up. Okay, I'm just going to get it out there right now because I'm going to screw this up, but I believe this is a 360 to Garmin and this is a 360 to Laurence. Check that out. I actually got it right. I was pretty impressed with myself. Usually I get that all messed up. So if you're in the market for a bracket, this one obviously is powder coated. This one obviously is not powder coated. It has to be powder coated before it goes out. And so if you need any bracketry or stuff like that, reach out to Michael. And like I said earlier, if you are in the Conroe, Clear Lake, Freeport, Lake Jackson, that kind of area, and you do need boat service, reach out to him. I, I really would appreciate it. He gets embarrassed when I do this, but we are, he is in the business of working on boats. So he can pull all the faces he wants behind the camera right now. And uh, I don't care because he is in the business of working on boats. Now, I'm going to go out on a limb here. So those that make the best comments about the boats that you've seen today or this week's content, I will give away one of Michael's detailing cloths. And uh, we actually prepped these for a high school um, tournament as a giveaway, or he did. And I think it's a pretty neat idea because the last time Michael and I went out together, we was 
wipe it down the boat. So this way you'll have it in your boat and you can wipe down your boat and uh, it'll be a good thing to have. So we'll, we'll decide based on the comments this week who gets this. We'll just stick it in the mail to you. We'll have to contact Michael and then we'll just plug it in the mail to you and uh, it'll be something for you to remember us by. So anyway, thanks for your time. Appreciate you tuning in as always. Bye.